ruling, the Bombay High Court has held that fair reporting of information may not attract action for defamation. Now, quashing criminal proceedings initiated over a news report, the High Court noted that the freedom of making a true report regarding the affairs which are in public domain is a right that follows from the freedom of speech. It further said that action of defamation about true reporting is unhealthy for a democratic setup. All right, uh, we are being joined by NCP's uh, Maji, the men in live uh, on the broadcast. Uh, thank you, sir, for joining us on the broadcast. Uh, sir, what are your views? The Bombay High Court has, in fact, said that fair report does not amount to defamation. See, unfortunately, these days, the right of, uh, or rather, freedom of expression and speech has been taken for granted. And uh, it has been found that, well, People are uh, misusing this right by making all kinds of scurrilous, defamatory accusation against their rivals, maybe political rivals, business rivals, or otherwise. Now, the word def defamation has been well defined, not only in the statute, but also in a series of judgments by Supreme Court. Now, what amounts to defamation? Freedom of expression and speech is also an important right given to every citizen of India under the Constitution. And therefore, the courts or the administration would not want to obstruct or interfere into the, this important uh, right of uh, freedom of speech. But then there has to be always uh, a relative restriction. Now, for example, in defamation, if you start publicizing something which is untrue against somebody, which is scurrilous, which is mischievous, which is causing damage to the reputation of that person, which he may have built up over the years, therefore, you will be liable for action. So defamation is only possible in law if it is truthful, number one, and it is not with an intention to uh, to cause uh, damage to the reputation of the opposite person. And therefore, what Bombay High Court has now said, that even whilst reporting by the media or any person who reports anything, if the information so divulged is truthful, then that would be a good defense against uh, uh, the suit of defamation both civil as well as criminal. And I think uh, uh, this is a very subjective matter. It depends upon the facts of each case, that whether the defamation uh, has been caused or not, and whether the person who has exercised his freedom of speech has done it within the limits of law or has uh, crossed the limit. Right. Sir, the court has also gone on to say that the publisher is not expected to ascertain FIR truthfulness and the FIR falls in public domain. No, see, the, FI, the question is that when an FIR is lodged, the person taking cognizance, the police officer who is taking cognizance has to be careful. Right. While you are taking cognizance of an offense, you have to ensure that the not only that the aggrieved person who has approached you with a complaint is satisfied or is within his rights and uh, uh, requirement of law, but also at the same time, the a person against whom such FIR is lodged is also not violated. His rights are also not violated. So uh, while registering or taking cognizance of FIR, the policemen have al also to take into consideration what the High Court, Honorable High Court observes. Right. Right, sir. Thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast and sharing your views.